Hello YouTube and Lego fans, welcome to another Lego Star Wars Winter 2014 Wave of Sets review. So this is for the Droid Tri-Fighter set 75044, ages 7 to 12. Comes with a piece count of 262 and it retails here in the UK currently for £34.99 at the Lego store or the Lego store online. Right, there we see the front of the box and the box art on the front. This comes with four minifigures, which I'll go through in a second. I'm going to spin that round and quickly show you the rear of the box, which you can see there, with obviously some of the functions on this particular set. Okay, quick look at the instruction manual. Small size instruction manual. But it is fairly thick for a small instruction manual. It has... 52 pages of build um, in total. So that's just a quick look at our instruction manual. Right, so here we go. So here's our first look at the set and the minifigures. So first thing, I'm just going to give you a quick 360 spin. And then we're going to go and do a few close-ups and have a look at some of the detail and functions. So there we go, spinning around. Okay, you can see that rear detail there, that rear engine and exhaust detail. And back round to that side shot. So, first of all, let's take a look at the minifigures. Okay, so first up we have this new classed as a minifigure, I guess, but obviously this is a build in its own right. Um, but this is a Buzz Droid. Uh, this also appears in the Vulture Droid, set 75041, um, which I've already reviewed, so take a look for that on my channel. Reviewed it recently, obviously being one of the 2014 winter sets. Um, so a quick look at this new figure. You can see there, obviously, how this is built and the parts used. Uh, but yeah, this is our Buzz Droid, so they are printed. These two pieces here. Okay. So that's our first figure, the Buzz Droid. Okay, next up we have our standard Battle Droid. Um, I would expect we've all seen these. Certainly, if you are a fan of the Lego Star Wars sets, you can see he comes with this blaster. Um, and yeah, he is just simply a standard battle droid so that's our second minifigure the battle droid okay next up we have our security battle droid again with the blaster and obviously you can see the color in there on the torso to represent that he is that security battle droid um, and also there we can pick that up on the rear top of his head Should we get that in closer there we go you can see that detail down the rear back of his head like I said um, but that is our security battle droid now I believe he has only ever appeared in one other set um, and that was the Jedi Defense 2 set 7204 um, it's an old set I can't recall exactly what year I think it may have been around about 2002 um, but yeah, feel free to leave down in the comments um, if that's right or if you believe this has appeared in more sets. But that's our security battle droid. Okay guys, next up we have a new version of Chancellor, Chancellor Palpatine. Um, and I must say this has got some really cool printing on the torso and on the legs. So I'm going to try and take you straight into that. Move away from the light. Yeah, so you can see that there. Pretty awesome printing actually, the way this has been done. You can see it there down on the legs and again up into the torso and then again around onto the rear of the torso there. Yeah, you can see it there. Really is some awesome printing actually. I do like the way that has been done. Great effect. Um, you can see there he's got his handcuffs on because he's obviously under arrest. Um, there we can have a look at his face printing. This is a two-sided face. I'll show you the other side in a second. Um, comes with the white hair piece. As we can see there. So let's just remove that so you can take a look at the other side of his face. OK, 
Okay, so that's that second side of his face there, and again, some great detail and great printing um, on both of those um, face. There we go. Again, another look at that printing. I think it's awesome, personally. That's my opinion on it. Let's bring him back there. Okay, so that is our final minifigure for this set, and that is, like I said, this new version of Chancellor, Chancellor Palpatine. Okay, so let's take a look at the droid Tri-Fighter itself now. Let's just bring this into shot. Okay, there we go. Again, I've already given you 360 of that, but so let's bring it in just for a bit of close-up detail. You can see some of the cannons and laser cannons that are on the front of the craft. Okay, it's got this obviously unusual design, being this tri um, design droid fighter. It's an interesting build. For those of you who've got the previous set, you, you would already know how this is assembled and built because it's obviously going to be very similar to that. Um, everything that you see, which is a print, is a sticker. So there are quite a few stickers on this. So you've got that's a sticker, that's a sticker, that's a sticker down there, and that's replicated on both sides and on every. Um, element of this tri assembly again you can see there on both sides of that so around to the rear um, again you can see that rear engine and exhaust detail there um, this center piece here is printed actually that is the only printed piece you can see there actually now that, that has just come off how that is kind of assembled and you can see that that Technic pin and that just simply fixes onto that like so. So like I was saying this sphere is printed um, on both sides and that's where the buzz droid sits so I'll get them in there in a second. So I guess the, the, the probably the only sort of feature apart from this sphere on this is the new spring loaded missile which we can see there so again that's that brick that has the spring inside it. There's the spring loaded missile so like I've done in a number of my sets I'm actually going to shoot this up in the air and how you do that you just simply push on it that way because it's got a little groove and uh, lever design on it which holds it in place so hopefully you'll see this shoot out and they do come out very fast so here we go <laughs> and that was quite good because you saw that that went and pretty much landed near the minifigures let's just grab that okay so there is that new spring loaded missile and you can see there how that's held in place um, and again, I've shown this on previous sets, but there is where it goes in. Simply slots down in like so. Just push down, line that groove up, and it will click into place. Like that. So that's our spring-loaded missile. So I'm just going to grab the buzz, buzz droid and put him into the sphere now. Okay, so the buzz droid is actually inside that sphere now, so if I bring that round, probably from that angle, you'll be able to see that. Let's get that to zoom in a bit better. There we go. Um, one thing I have to say, I'm slightly disappointed with this, is you can see there that gap. This doesn't particularly fit very well. Um, it is a particularly tight fit to get that buzz droid in, and you can't get him sitting upright. You just have to kind of get him in there anywhere you can, and you can also see that on the box. It's just pretty sort of crammed in there. Um, and then just to show you, this is just on this hinge mechanism here. So these just open like so. So again, you can see him in there. And if we remove the buzz droid, just move him out the side for a second because I just want to show this sphere again, even without anything in it when it's closed up. It still is not a particularly. I'll try and get that in shot snug fit obviously it's a bit closer together there but you can see they're not particularly great but anyway um yeah guys so that's pretty much it for this set um don't think there are any other features and you can see that's come off there again um okay so let's just get this back down onto the platform Okay, so that's my review pretty uh, much finished um, on this set, the tri uh, sorry, the Droid Tri-Fighter. So, a bit mixed thoughts on this one, to be honest. I like the look of the set itself. I think it does look pretty awesome. 
kind of menacing. Um, I love the new um, Chancellor Palpatine minifigure. I think the printing on him is pretty awesome. Um, I think, in my opinion, this is overpriced. If I go back to the piece count, it's got 262 pieces, yet it's £34.99, so pretty much £35. Now, I would have been much more happier if this was £24.99, which personally I think that is more like the correct price point for it. Um, but anyway, guys, that's just kind of my opinions on the set. Um, doesn't detract from the fact that I do think it does look pretty um, awesome and menacing. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. That's my review completed on the Droid Tri-Fighter, um, which is set 75044. So if you've liked, enjoyed this video, please do go ahead and give it that thumbs up um, to show that you do like this. Um, again, leave any comments, feedback, um, questions, um, etc. down in the comments section. And if you haven't done so already, please, 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 please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers.